be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. Look, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, if you're brand new to Logic Pro 10 or if you just haven't really been making beats in Logic Pro 10 in a while, this is going to be a good video for you because I'm going to be going over some mixing tips when it comes to mixing hip hop beats in Logic Pro 10 2022 edition. All right. I'm going to try to use some stock set, you know, plugins and stuff like that. But here and there, I might use like a third party plugin. Um, this is going to be the beat. I'm going to let you listen to some of it. It's actually the beat I've used in a couple of other videos, but let's listen to it just in case you're new. I'm only going to play maybe like, you know, intro and then the hook. Okay. So Cool. So that's our the beat. Um, you know, I have pretty much played around a little bit with the levels and things like that. But as you can see here, there's no plugins on here, no EQ, no compression, there's nothing. So we're gonna pretty much uh, we might as well just go ahead and start from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's go ahead and make another version of this, and then um, I'm just gonna take everything here. If you push the um, option key and click on everything, it will take everything to nominal gain for the most part here. Um, so that that you can also do that with pan panning as well. So that's going to be one of the first steps we'll do. Take everything to nominal gain. From here, where what I would suggest is that we can go ahead and do a little bit of gain staging, and this is where we're going to put a gain plugin on here. And just make sure that none of the tracks are, um, you know, coming in too hot. So we'll start off uh, one by one. Come over here to utility, gang, boom. You just don't want it to, you want to give it a little bit of headroom, you know what I'm saying? Don't want it to hit too much higher than that negative 6 dB. Okay, cool. So we have this done now. Um, do want to point out there is multiple different ways to gain stage. I've I've actually have displayed a couple of on the site before on this uh, on, on this channel before. But just to keep that in mind, there are, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I just want to tell y'all that. So don't 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 look at this as the only way. Or hey, you could be doing it this other way. I know there's multiple ways, but. It's a gain stage. Um, next thing I would do here is go ahead and bring everything back down to zero. And we're going to just go ahead and start working on the levels. Um, I'm going to start off with the kick first. Let's go ahead and push option and put that to nominal gain. So they just kind of mix off of that kick.
And I just want this, uh, I want to be able to still feel that kick pretty hard. Let's keep on going. And after we get the drums, let's go ahead and work with the bass. You want to feel that bass, but you want it to, you know, you don't want it to overshadow the drums. So like now that we got the levels pretty decent, the next thing I will start working on is the EQ. I'm going to do something called subtractive EQ. And subtractive EQ is where we're going to be taking away frequencies instead of adding. So like on this brass track right here, if I take away some of the frequencies um, here, it will make room for some other frequencies in the track. So like if I want to make the bass you know, shine in the mix, I could take away some of these frequencies of the of these other melodies. So we have a good sound going. Let's keep on going on some of these other instruments, even in the drums. thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pan some of these instruments to the left or right um, like maybe take these hi-hat stuff over to the left or the right a little bit um, you know same thing with the choir maybe you know stuff like that here let's check And then from here, we're going to just identify if we want to add certain effects to uh, certain tracks. So like, for instance, do we want the kick to pop out more in the mix? Do we want this uh, bass to sound a little bit more rumbly? Um, you know, I see the first thing I want to do is on this uh, this tremolo. I just kind of named this a weird name, but it's uh, I, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this delay on it. So we got a little bit of reverb or delay on that. This this uh the string instrument here. Uh, 
I'm gonna put this um, plug in on here. It's actually a uh, R bass plug in. It's gonna make this bass a little bit more boomy. Let's see how it sounds now. And then the last thing I would do is just listen to the, to this at low volumes. All right, you can listen to it at low volumes and make adjustments from there. So this is just um, some tips that you can use when it comes to mixing your hip hop beats in Logic Pro 10. Hopefully this was a good tutorial for you. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything missing that you wanted to learn or anything like that. Let me know as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching. By the way, uh, we do have full video courses you can grab at beatmakingbasics.com. Make sure that you go ahead and grab those. We got those courses uh, on the site now. It's going crazy. A lot of people are you know, really benefiting from the material. It's a little bit more thorough than the videos on here on YouTube. Like I said, it's hours of content and everything is structured into a curriculum. So make sure you check those out. And we have loop packs and uh, royalty free drum kits and stuff like that that you can grab as well. Make sure you go grab those from beatmakingbasics.com. Links in the description below. We're out.